you looking forward to the big day? I am, actually. We've already had a sneak peek. And, uh, yeah, we really enjoyed filming it as well. That was good fun to be on location. She's got the big white wedding dress. She has, which I had on for a full week, so by the end of the week <laughs> I was sick of it. But it looks... It's a lovely dress, uh -huh. yeah. Did you, get a talk, did you get a say in that? Like, I want a big meringue dress or I want something sleek? To be honest, the wardrobe department know you pretty well. They mm. know your character pretty well. And I tried it on and it fit perfectly, so I was just happy with so what So what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> I know, there's so many things that could go wrong. I mean, how long have they been dating? A year. She's desperate to get married. She's madly in love with him. She's kind of forced the question. Um, but she's got her doubts. Yeah, and she doesn't know some of the answers. Yeah. Pri Priya, for instance. Exactly, but she knows that there's something not quite right, although she can't put a finger on it. And she actually feels guilty for doubting him and for questioning him and questioning whether she should go through with it or not. But ultimately, it's what she wants more than anything. I mean, we talked you know, about Priya on the show and saying that is like the ultimate betrayal, isn't it? Your best friend having I, an affair with I your man. I think that betrayal is much harder to understand and much harder to forgive. I mean, she doesn't know now. Will she find out? I don't know. But <laughs> it is, I would say, far harder for her to forgive Priya than yeah. it would be for her to forgive him. I just Definitely. feel sorry for the poor guy. I mean, you're both gorgeous. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. What's he to Talk do? What's he to lovers. do? Um, yes, that's another song. Another song. Treated <laughs> like a fool, <laughs> loving both of you. I know you can't oh. tell us anything really that happens after that, but is it exciting times ahead for you on Emmerdale? Definitely exciting times. It was it was an amazing week of filming, and we got to do some really great emotional stuff and some quite ridiculous stuff as well. Weren't there rumours actually that Anthony, who plays Pete, was leaving? The... Well, I heard that, yeah. but um, as far as I know, that that's not true. Okay. And with all that excitement, Roxy, how do you curb that excitement in your real life? You you participate in yoga. This is this is something you do as a business as well. Um, tell me about mindfulness and well-being and how you prepare for scenes and between scenes. I mean, just to give people a bit of an insight into you and maybe what they should be doing as well. I should probably focus on the mindfulness stuff a, a little bit more. <laughs> um, I think for me, having a, having a physical discipline, having a practice that you can do anytime, anywhere to just ground you, that makes you feel good in your own skin. Wow, I look think at you there. Is, um, it's... I do that oh, every, every lunchtime. I should say, you, you do that, <laughs> yeah. don't you? Mm -hmm. It's funny, you know, because on social media, all the yoga people, and I'm just as bad, you only ever post pictures of yourself in the best positions. You go, have you got it? Have you got it? You know, and that's it. But really, the, the most simple sitting, breathing, and doing a gentle stretch can make you feel mentally calmer mm -hmm. and physically more relaxed. And I just think it's so valuable to do day to day. Mm. My favourite position that you got into was <laughs> nine years ago on Emmerdale, <laughs> upper poles. That was a brilliant introduction. Yeah. How difficult? Tell me the story behind that. Well, I was actually working here on the South Bank. Do it. I was in Othello, and I got a call from Kate Oates, who was our producer at the time, and she told me the story about Layla's re-entrance. And it, I was just delighted because I just thought, how what a ridiculous first scene to be head to toe in PVC, upside down on a pole, you know. And you can't move on a pole in PVC. You're not going anywhere, you know. So it was it was really really good fun. It was great to shoot. It was and good. you're obviously very fit because of the yoga. But did you go and train somewhere? To do where the pole where dance? I teach yoga sometimes in Nottingham. Above there, there's a fitness pole class so I went to that lady a couple of times and went to a few of the classes and it was really good it's fun. hard it's really good core re I thought you know because I can do a bit of yoga and I've you know I think yeah. I've got a good core I'm like yeah this will be easy mm -hmm. it's not easy do you know Ruth's practicing that for Strictly that's one I of my favorite <laughs> in, in that red PVC catsuit yes. yeah yeah I borrowed yeah. it <laughs> very good <laughs>